Hey guys. Oh, I thought I'd come on here and let you all see the doggies chewing on their, their toys and bones. They're laying down on their little bed because they've been outside and it's so hot and everything that I had to rehydrate them, make sure they drink a lot of water and now they're playing with their toys and hopefully going to take a little nap. But anyway, um, I saw a video just now by our sister Diana Landris and she was talking about the three days of darkness and um, and I've heard many people say this but I had never received myself any kind of word about this and, and I've never really been quite sure even though I knew um, that in the Bible of course uh, when the plagues were falling on Egypt that was one of the things. It was uh, one of the judgments. Uh, when Moses was there saying, let my people go to Pharaoh, and he was stubborn and would not. Um, but last night, just as I was falling asleep and I was finishing up my nightly prayers, I saw a vision. And I I, I don't have a lot of visions. For, for you guys that know me, um, sometimes I'll get a picture in my head or like a flash vision. But I've only had a couple of visions, and I've reported on those. Um and I don't have many dreams, but when I do, they're pretty powerful. But in either case, um, what I saw was the Sphinx over in Egypt. And I saw like it looked like the Great Pyramid. And it was weird because it looked like the head of the Sphinx was on top of the capstone of the... Um, of the Giza pyramid. It didn't look like the Sphinx's normal body and head. And on this head, of course, it looked more like, um, like the old Pharaohs, like what you've seen from like King Tut's tomb and things like that. So it, it reminded me of the Sphinx and yet it wasn't quite like the one that we see. It was more like the big head of a Pharaoh. And, um, and he had a surgical mask on his nose and mouth like he was, you know, I mean, like a surgical mask, guys. And so what I felt like that I heard in the spirit, because I, I never want to add or subtract or anything like that. All I know is what I saw and I believe it to be from God. Um, we all know how to test the spirit and we know how the Lord speaks with us. Um, and what I heard was um, basically this, that all of the, the judgments that are that fell upon Pharaoh when he was being stubborn and Moses was saying, let my people go, and he wouldn't listen to God and he wouldn't listen to Moses. It's, it's like God said, I am the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. These are things that you know, the judgments that fell upon Pharaoh and, and Egypt will be the same types of things that you um, are starting to see now and that will befall them. Um, speaking of the world and he said, hail and pestilence and darkness and death. And I thought to myself, wow, um, that's pretty strong, you know, message, except that this time God himself is saying, you know, I'm taking my people with me and you know, like, not just let my people go, but he's coming to, uh, to receive his church unto himself and, and, and the Lord's return. Most of us feel like that it will be very soon. Um, and I don't know what we'll have to see before we, we leave. I know we're seeing a lot of things now and the birth pains are getting really close together, but to me, it was rather, um, powerful vision and message. Um, and, then I saw Diana talking about the three days of darkness. And we do know that the darkness that fell upon them was tangible, so thick that they couldn't see their hand in front of their face. Um, and we do know that that different illnesses and, and plagues, so to speak, there was even a resurgence last year, I believe, of the, the Black Death. And, um, uh, and then, of course, the Ebola and all these things. And more than likely, there will be pestilence come up on the face of the earth that people haven't even heard of during this time. Um, plus the fact that I was seeing an article about the hailstones that fell in Colorado and it was saying how it killed a couple of animals at the zoo there. And I thought, goodness, you know, I mean, like that's, that's really in essence what I believe that I have seen. Um, and I believe that these are precursors to what, 
um, people will see during the Great Tribulation, except it'll be even more wide scale. I think that this is supposed to be waking people up now, and I think many people have awaken to what time it is. And I'm sure there are many others that are to join us, but um, I just thought I would mention that and, and let you all know, because to me it was rather ominous and, um, and we know for it is written that uh, in the Bible, that these things will be taking place. So I, I hope that you take this to the Lord in prayer yourself. Um, I, to me, it was a no brainer. Um, you know, as far as I know how the Lord speaks to me and when he does show me something. And uh, then I feel like I got confirmation when I saw Diana's uh, video today. And not only that, um, but the hailstones that fell there in Colorado. And apparently Kane is growling at his own toys. So <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. And I'm sure we'll talk real soon.